Hello, Leo Sun, Gemini Moon. Welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. When you view it is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. And I'm doing them in order of requests in the comments. First portion of this reading will be the traits of your Sun Moon combination. And then I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2020. The second portion of this reading will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I'll have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers. <clears throat> I'm dividing the year up into four separate sectors so let's see what's going on with your sun moon combination you seem to express yourself with a lot of style you're outspoken you've you've keen perception and sarcasm and they're very well known um with this combination you guys could be in theater a dramatist speech writer a comedian or a speaker of some sort public speaker rather um unfortunately you could also be a con artist of some some sort with this combination, where you're like, rrr, rrr. <laughs> um, anything, anything that requires your concentration or requires organization, you usually try to avoid. You're kind of good at pushing off the responsibilities on other people and avoiding the work. Um, that's that leisurely aspect, leisurely uh, Leo aspect of you. Um, all parts of you from top to bottom usually seek to be adored and like having your ego boosted. You usually have a very heavy social calendar um, and that's actually your way of like circumventing responsibilities. You're a little removed even though people think that you are very sociable, compassionate, very understanding. Um, it's, it, it's surprising to people how quickly you can end a relationship without crying a tear. When you do cry it's more of a show than it actually comes from the heart. You're a, you can be a little bit critical a little bit discerning you observe and evaluate other people from afar and sometimes this causes causes your associations a lot of disappointment um you're never scared to tell anybody how you feel because you're open and unrestrained especially when it comes to love and your partner your romantic life is constantly in flux impatience tends to cause you to be irresponsible so be careful about your impulsivity um no matter how hard working you might seem to other you might seem to be to other people Co focusing and concentrating your energies in one area is not a simple task for you happiness comes from constantly having um, constantly diversifying you like thrills you like stimulation you're going to achieve a lot more in life if you work on being a little more patient um versatility is one of your strong points you stand out in almost any crowd that you're in or any field that you choose. You can also talk anybody into anything, so you'll be a great salesperson. You usually want to be in some some kind of situation or some kind of career where social distinction and recognition are gotten. And that's what I have for you guys. Okay, so let's see what's going on for your 2020. Holy Spirit, angels, mind, God's universe. Can you please have your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Leo, Sun, Gemini, Moons? For the year 2020, what do you see? What do you need to know? Any messages that you have to help them reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to divine, would be greatly appreciated. Leo, Sun, Gemini, Moons, what do you see? What do they need to know? Any messages you have for them? Leo, Sun, Gemini, Moons, 2020, what do you see? What do they need to know for their greater good? What do you see for January, February, March? For Leo, Sun, Gemini, Moons, Four of Cups in the Upright. Leo Sun, Gemini Moons for April, May, June. Keep in mind if this resonates, consider personal reading. My rates, my info. I think my info is below. Um, just send me an email. We can go ahead and work that out. Check, ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook. Check me out on Insta. Four Pentacles in Reverse for July, August, September. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Donate. Okay. And we have the Five of Cups in the Upright for October, November, December. Alrighty. Oh, sorry. I started pulling clarifiers. I don't do that until later. Um, okay. Four of Cups in the Upright. You guys are very kind of focused on something that you want. Usually it's an outcome or an expectation of some sort. It's usually uh, looking at these cups and being, but I want it this way or I want what's in these cups. And it can be a really limiting, you know, almost tunnel vision because here's this offer coming in begging you to look into this cup and you want nothing to do with it. Um, so what it, 
whatever this is, you're very focused and concentrated on getting it. And whatever somebody's offering to you, you're very disenchanted and very removed from it. Um, you, you want what you want and you want it the way that you want it in January, February, March. Um, April, May, June, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. So this is coming out of some kind of situation that, um, you know, is weighing heavily on your mind. Um, probably had you very anxious, d depressed, sad, desperate, um, any of those negative emotions. And, and the, this shows you kind of coming out of it. It may be because you didn't necessarily get what you wanted the way that you wanted it. Um, and you kind of reconciled with that. It really is about coming out of um, a dark point or coming out of rock bottom. Um, so you can look forward to that in April, May, June. July, August, September has you being a little bit shallow. Um, holding on to things, material possessions, but I, I mean, it's out of fear of losing them, okay? So it's usually holding on to um, shallow success or being a little bit greedy or being stingy with your money or, you know, it's it's holding on to material things rather than focusing on your your spirituality or um, other things or your social, social things, um, social, you know what I mean, friends and things like that, personal life, that's what I was trying to say. So be careful of being like that in July, August, September. Now, October, November, December, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but the Five of Cups is, is about loss. It's about regret and sorrow. Um, for some of you, actually, um, you know, it's, it goes separate ways with somebody and you're lamenting it and it's bereavement. Um, you could have a failure, you could have a setback of some sort. The Five of Cups can also indicate like a financial setback of some sort. Um, so, you know, the, the year doesn't end up that great. Um, clarifiers can often tell us a little bit more or kind of the, the situation can turn around slightly. Um, as I always say, hope for the best, prepare for the worst and use your free will. If this resonates with you in your upcoming year, um, you know, you had a foretelling of it. So maybe you can kind of like figure out what you're going to do to kind of navigate through that. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. So just keep in mind if this resonated, consider a personal reading. You can uh, um, check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings. You can ask me a question on Instant Go. You can check me out on Facebook or Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.